Located on the west coast of Demerara, the Fellowship Practical Instruction Center represents a significant investment in the development of Ghana's workforce and the country's technical education infrastructure. The total cost of the rehabilitation of the center was 1.2 million US dollars. It covers improvements to the infrastructure, procurement of tools and equipment, as well as the provision of ICT equipment and furnishings. We recognize that these investments are critical in scaffolding the agenda of technical education. And so for us to maximize the use of these buildings, the intention is that we will have, even in classes, that will be done at these centers. We will cater for persons who are working during the course of the day, and we can accommodate them during the evening. And so the single mothers and women and girls and all the other people who are desirous of having a skill certificate, this facility, this state-of-the-art facility will now present that opportunity for every single person. That was the Deputy Chief Education Officer responsible for technical and vocational education, Dr. Ritish Tolaram. The upgraded center will accommodate up to 400 students, providing them with the practical skills necessary to meet the demands of an evolving job market. With their skills certificates, persons can move on to other technical institutions and continue enhancing their skills and training. We're not stopping CXE. We're not stopping CSEC. We're not stopping CAPE because that works for many people. But we also know that in Guyana today, the realities demand that we prepare our young people for the jobs that will be available. The rehabilitation of the Fellowship Center is part of the larger Guyana Skills Development and Employability Project, which has been funded by the Caribbean Development Bank. This initiative involves the refurbishment and expansion of practical instruction centers across regions 3, 4, and 5, as well as practical instruction departments in hinterland secondary schools. For Newsroom, Isanella Patwal.